What's going on, guys? Brad, your way long care. So I was nominated by Naylor, long care rookie, to um, do this uh, get to know me challenge. So thanks, Naylor. And um, start off, I'm 30 years old. I uh, live in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, run a long care company. Been doing it for, uh, this is our fifth year. Um, this is the third 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 three and a half um years we've been at it full time as our sole uh income and we're doing quite well at it um thankfully so grew up in a little small town north of raleigh north carolina um worked at the fire department there uh started when i was 18 years old fresh out of high school never went to college uh so I started at the fire department, worked there for several years, went to work at another county, working strictly EMS. Um, and then I went back to working uh, at the fire department again uh, about two years after just working strictly EMS for a little while. So ooh, started my fire career at um, 15 years old, joined the volunteer department. I uh, was there for 10 years, I guess. Um, Made it all the way to the rank of assistant chief there um, for a two-year period um, before my family really got to the point where I really couldn't do uh, the things I needed to. So I went back and um, remained a lieutenant for a little while, and then uh, we moved to Raleigh, and I was no longer in the area, so we left that. Um, so I left the fire department full-time in 2014. Uh, after the fire chief pissed me off one day, I uh, always tell people don't piss off a guy who has a full-time job that, excuse me, a part-time job that pays more than his full-time job salary because he will leave. Um, so the chief pissed me off. I left there. Uh, I was a engineer uh, at the time and had been acting captain on my engine for um, two years. And say it was a small town, so um, they looked for any and every way to save money. And there were three. Well, there were two of us that were engineers that were acting as captain, um, and that was saving the county about a little over twenty thousand dollars a year between the two of us and um, salary increases that we would have got if they would have paid us what we were actually working for. Um, so I've got four kids. Uh, the youngest actually turned four today, which is a little girl. My oldest is 11. Um, I have a, another son that's nine and another son that is five. Um, our five-year-old is actually the reason that we ended up in Raleigh. Um, he has, was diagnosed with autism, so we've moved out of the small town that we were in to the bigger city where the school systems are a lot better, um, so we were able to get a lot more benefits for him um, along the way, and it has been one of the best decisions that I will say we've ever made in our lives um, was to do that. So, excuse me. So, um, I've been married twice. Uh, my first wife, we got married at a young age, uh, didn't even last a solid year. Um, and that's my nine-year-old, which is my middle son. Um, he was with her. My 11-year-old, my oldest son, was actually with somebody else with my wife now. Um, but in my eyes, I don't see any difference between any of my children. They're all mine. Um, I'll treat them all like they're mine. I take care of them all the same way. So you know, me and my wife now, we have been married uh, five years this month. Um, so doing really well um somehow she puts up with my southern self and somehow i put up with her yankee self too so but we met um very interesting story how we met we met uh, when i was working ems in um, a different county from where I, I originally started working for the fire department um, she was actually an er nurse there and i had been having having relationship problems and was going through a separation and a bunch of the nurses there started telling me about her and telling her about me and uh, about three and a half almost four months after my separation and uh, everybody saying oh y'all need to meet y'all need to meet she was finally working one day that I was and um, 
finally met each other, saw each other. Um, she won't say it was love at first sight, but um, she liked me. So, um, but basically we've been together ever since um, then, pretty much inseparable. Um, we have an amazing relationship. Um, we've done a lot together. We struggled together. Um, we built this business together. Um, if it wouldn't have been for her, we definitely wouldn't be where we are today. Um, we want to start another business that um, she's working on getting going. So, you know, I'm going to be there to support her and back her along the way. Um, and then hopefully next year we're going to actually start a business together, which will be our third business that we'll have. Um, and that business is going to be started with the hopes of strictly running it for two to three years and um, selling it for a substantial amount of money. Um, that's that's our goal with that that business, and we're kind of putting models in place now to get us to that point. So that's a little about me. Um, if you want to know more about me, just ask. I don't mind telling you. Uh, I don't really have anything to hide. Um, figure your worst days are your best days that you learn from, and um, you know. If you regret something you did in the past, you got a problem. I don't regret anything I've done. Everything I did years ago made me who I am today and got me um, to where I'm at. So I don't know if you can see in the background the deer horns up there. Um, but I got a couple of deer mounted uh, in the house. Uh, I've been hunting my whole life. Uh, my daddy bought me my first rifle when I was eight years old. Um, so most kids throughout the year birthdays they got toys and stuff um i've gotten a lot of guns for birthdays and christmases through life so i have a uh, pretty substantial gun collection uh, i enjoy fishing fishing pole back uh, back here somewhere so we go camping uh, as a family we really enjoy that uh, we do quite a bit of that me and my wife enjoy to go hiking um, we go up to the foothills and mountains of north carolina um, go hiking, we go out to the coast, some go hiking on um, different places. So just some things we enjoy doing together as a family. Um, we, we build a lot of memories going and doing things with the kids versus buying them a lot of stuff. Um, they have plenty by all means, but um, you know, we'd rather go somewhere and make memories with them, things that they'll never forget and um, teach them life lessons that, you know, they'll, they'll carry with them for years versus buying them the latest and greatest um, video game or whatever so we don't even have a video game console thing in our house um we'd rather do other things so but anyway guys that's a little about me thanks to kevin with um, fall river for getting this thing started i know i got called out a couple weeks ago and uh just now getting this done uh, we've been backed up like crazy with rain so I really don't know a lot of people to call out. Um, the one person I know hasn't been called out is Exterminator, um, which I like his stuff. I've seen some videos that he's put up uh, lately, so if y'all know him, go over and tell him. He's been called out to do this. And um, Hickman Lawn Care, I don't know if he's still around or not, but um, another good guy that, um, that I've enjoyed watching over the years. So, And um, my challenge is that any of the new guys out there that might happen to see this, that... A lot of people may not know about you. Do it. Get do make a video. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself, and um, you know, help build a community. Later, guys.